Hello and welcome to the final video in our Anima series. I'm Mike and this is Nick. Hi. And um, we're looking now at the Anima Prestige, which is the top range model of um, the Anima. If you've not seen our previous videos, comparing the three, the one we did on the Anima Black and the one we did on the Anima Deluxe, and you're thinking about getting a super automatic espresso machine like this one, it's maybe worth checking out those videos because in those we're going to talk about well, we do talk about the espresso and the coffee drinks because those are the same on all of them. But the headline act here is that the Anima Prestige is a one-touch cappuccino machine. So by pushing one button, you can make a cappuccino, which Nick is going to do. Yeah, this has got a carafe. So this is the big difference between these machines and the other models in the Anima range. This carafe comes out, so you can store that in the fridge if you want to. Uh, and obviously, you wouldn't like to leave it room temperature for too long, especially no. if you're in a hot environment. Yeah. But that can go in the fridge quite comfortably. And uh, then that just clicks onto the machine that's like so. Awesome. And then when we're ready to make a coffee, we just bring this across uh, uh -huh. so that the milk can go straight into the cup. And so as Mike, like plastic thing straight across. Correct. And as you said, it's a one-touch cappuccino. Now the whole black head comes off to fill it. Or if we're in situ and we think, oh, we're running out of milk, we can just take this little case off and pour some put a little bit more milk in there. Yeah. So we're going to pop this in over here. Nice large cup. Nice good clearance there. The head comes down as usual. Mm -hmm. And as we've already said, the one touch cappuccino, this is the big feature. We're literally pushing one button and that's that one. So we push this button. Now what's it going to do now? It's going to say, make sure your carafe's in the right place, yeah. which it is. Then let's grind in the coffee beans. I think we were grinding nine grams of coffee there. We okay. talked about that previously. So it's getting the coffee beans ready and then it's going to heat the boiler up to dispense milk into the cup, straight into the cup. So where before you have to do the espresso and the milk separately by pushing yep. different buttons, now it's going to do espresso and milk all yep. from one button. So one touch, cappuccino. Does what it says on the, on the exactly tile. Exactly what it says there. Literally push one button. As with all the anima range, yep. you push the button and you get what it says. So this milk will be a measured amount of milk. Now that's factory set okay. and it might not be to your requirements. And you might have a favourite cup that yep. you want to fill and I'm going to show you in a second how to programme the coffee and how to programme this feature to feature. Okay. So this is the measured amount of milk that's in the machine at the moment. Right. On the machine, on the right hand side as you look at the machine, there you've got two buttons. One says cappuccino, one says latte macchiata. Right. But basically, you can program as you they wish. Do the same thing. The latte macchiato is more milky. More milky. More That's milky. That's the idea, really. So, from the factory, you're going to, if you just use those, you would get more milk in the latte macchiato. Correct. You can program them however you want. You can indeed, yeah. So, as much as you like. So, we put in there probably about an ounce and a half of coffee. It's carrying on. At any time, you can push the stop button here, which is the little tick. But that's a that's a pretty short measure for that cup, obviously. It but is. that's as it as it's set. So I'll show you just briefly how to program it. Uh, now it says, do you want to clean the carafe? This is quite a good thing. Just the to give it. The answer is yes. The yep. answer is always, always yes. yes. Just give it a little push, and that gives it a little flush. Just if you've watched our um, Anima Deluxe video. What it's just done there is purging the cappuccino torre, which is Nick spent a long time cleaning out the cappuccino torre, pulling the milk out through it. That is the machine doing that for itself there. We've got a red light. Oh no. Red lights tell you what some needs to be done okay. with the machine. This is telling you that the dreg drawer needs empty. Oh, okay. So we take that out, remove the dreg drawer yeah, yeah. into our bin. Okay. And this time I have got a bin there as well rather yeah. than just Previous the carpet. Videos, he's just thrown coffee <laughs> on the floor. Put the bin back in. Replace that back into Idomo. So obviously okay, we've got to put the so carafe back in. No, it's a simple one. No, very, very easy. So we're going to get the machine ready. Okay, so we've got smaller cups we want. Yeah, we're going to program this. So we're going to get it to the brim, but we're going to put milk in. So we push and hold the cappuccino button down. Okay. Okay, so we're just holding yeah. it there. And it says, get the carafe ready, which oh, we've yeah. done. Open the carafe. And this important word here, memo. memo. Yeah, and this memo means it's going to be free flow until you stop it. Okay. So this is overriding, in this case, the factory setting, yeah. but or a previously set uh, right. lengths of coffee. So here, once it starts flowing, so we've ground the coffee, as it has done all, all, always, now it's going to heat the milk, and another little tick button has come on. So now we are in control of the coffee, so, uh, sorry, the milk. So this will flow. Okay, until we, we want to stop. Indeed. So it just depends how we can play a game of uh, chicken here, see if we, who wants to overflow it. You're in charge. <laughs> so, I'm not going to look and I'm not going to get So milk. providing there's milk in here, water in there, it will carry on frothing. So it's very good for a hot chocolate, this as well. But you would do that in the milk rather than this. So we're going to say that'll be fine. Stop it there. So that's programmed the milk. Oh, thank goodness. Yeah, you were nervous there for a I moment. I was nervous there. So now we're on free flow coffee. Okay, so we're going to program the coffee now. Correct. Stay alert. We've, we, milk, we've got to stay now, alert. Remember, this is overriding it. Yes. So once we've done that, we're going to do this once. We're going to do it once. So this is my favourite cup. I okay. like this cup. Yeah, yeah. 
and we're going to program it to fill that cup. Yeah. yeah. So this is more milk, less milk, more coffee, less coffee, okay. whatever you want to do. So if you have a favourite cup that you yep. have, and you know every morning you're going to use that cup or something very much like it, Correct. you can program your cappuccino. So yep. All you have to do in the morning is groggily poke the button that says cappuccino. And, and away you go. So there we go. To the brim. Nice cappuccino made to your requirements. Mm -hmm. X amount of milk, X amount of coffee. So away you go. So that's now overridden the previous setting or the factory setting. And every time we push that button, it will make uh, that okay, amount, yeah, yeah. that, that so, amount, that amount. So if I coffee. wander off set now and find another one of these and we push cappuccino, Absolute. it'll make that. I have 100% confidence I'm gonna, with I'm that. I'm gonna do that, I'll okay. be right back. So <laughs> it will do absolutely that. So good luck with finding another one. Program this in the same manner. I'm gonna challenge. And he has done one, all right. Found okay. it, I'm gonna push right, cappuccino. Okay. And it's asked me, okay. Yeah. So the same procedure with the Latin Macchiato button. Exactly the same. So if you've got a, you want to do a small ah. latte macchiato, yeah, yeah. you can make it fit that. It's any any length of coffee that I you do want. Like an espresso macchiato, so you could program yeah, the absolutely, latte yeah. macchiato to be an espresso. Absolutely, it's a tiny amount of froth, tiny amount of milk, a button of foam. Yeah, and one ounce of coffee or right. one and a half ounces of coffee, whatever you want it to be. Okay. So it's very good. So if the two of you using the machine, one of you likes a very milky coffee, and one of you likes a very coffee coffee, yeah, you can program those buttons accordingly. So this is going to be my measured amount of milk, so I have every confidence it's going to just cut off there. At any point, if you put the wrong cup underneath, you can stop it. Can just stop. So the little tick has come into operation again. So if I get nervous, I can push that tick button and it'll go on to make the coffee. But I'm not nervous, I'm 100% confident. We've, we've programmed it, <laughs> we have. we're good to go. So there's your milk. It's making all the same noises. It is making all the same noises. And away you go. Coffee in. And remember the quick clean will come in, it will give you the option to quick clean as well yeah. when it's finished doing that. So again, same thing, tick buttons in. So if we want to cut this coffee, because oh, we put the wrong cup in, yeah. just press that and it'll, it'll cut it off. Manual override on the program settings. Hey, look at that. Is it the same? This is the question. We've got to measure it now. I'm going to get my ruler out. Oh, it looks out. a little bit less. I think it's a little bit, I, think <laughs> so, I might have grabbed I think a slightly we a bit. larger cup and yeah, spilled a well. bit. We spilled some, but, but there we go. Okay. So there's, there's your program called twin coffee. lattes. Indeed. Latte there we go. Do we want to clean the butt? Yes. Clean the craft? Yes. Absolutely. The answer Give is it a quick, yes. quick clean. And there we go. A little head, little flush of this keeps it nice and clean. That's lovely. Easy as that. And that's the one touch cappuccino. That is the one touch cappuccino. The menu is slightly different to the other models. We're going to slightly to different. The menu. Yeah, we can have a quick look at the menu. Because on the menu there, you've got um, drinks and a menu. Right. So the menu sub menu is the same as the previous one. Okay, so that's so the coffee temperature, the standby mode, right. the hardness of water, All and the, the, standard the decal things that you yep. change on a gadget. So if we automatic. toggle down to the drinks, yes. To there, so we highlight the drinks and say yes please. We've got the facility to make hot water. Right. So this is how Americana. So you can still make hot water and yep steam and all the rest of the things that you yep. could make on the previous model it's just slightly more complicated because you've sacrificed that for the one touch cappuccino you have really yeah but so you've got hot water just press the tip button hot water out of this head americanos if we want to see what other one we've got on there we've got milk so if we're doing a hot chocolate right or we just want extra frothy milk okay extra milk yeah, we yeah. can just push that button now away that goes yeah, and milk. we will get milk that is a very tall glass it's a massive glass, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. The That's... Anima actually has the largest glass range of the whole Gaggia. If you have very tall glasses, the Anima is probably the model for you because it's got the largest cup. Range. 16 ounces, I think, this one. 16 ounces. I cup. think, yeah, I think it's 16, 16 ounces. It is. Who wants a pint? Three quarters you of a pint. You want a pint of coffee? Yeah. You need an Anima. You do. So there's your milk. So again, we must make sure we keep our eyes on the milk here. It will cut off when it runs out. So the water in there. The machine stops if the milk stops. Yes. Right. So we can just stop it at any point. Okay. So say for hot chocolates, ideal. And again, push. And there we go. Do we want to do everybody say it together? What is the answer? Yeah, the count clean yes. is yes, please. Yeah. Clean, yeah. Stop it, there we go. Yes. Yep, just give it a little flush. There we go. So if one touch cappuccino, fantastic. All the other features on it are very similar. Sorry, midway drinking the Sorry, yeah, you're still drinking. That is brilliant. Well, if this looks interesting to you. If a one-touch cappuccino machine is the kind of thing that you want, I would recommend that you take a look at the other Anima videos that we've got, comparing the three and also looking at the details of the coffee making in them because we haven't talked a lot about the espresso making here. We talk about that in our previous videos. But 
other than that, the link to our website is just down in the description there. Follow us on social media and enjoy your coffee. Cheers. Thank you.